Okay. You can't see me that well. I understand. But here's the deal. You want to know what I literally just found out just now and what I just watched? That Casey Neistat's ending his vlogs. I mean... This, this is a vlog where, that I'm going to make and... And, it, and it, it was hard for me to find this out because, I mean, he's been a huge inspiration to me. He's the reason why I started this. And I, I, I'm excited to, to continue vlogging and to continue doing this. But to see someone so good leave the vlogging scene is... It, it, it's, it's difficult. Casey, you've been... I don't, I don't know if you're going to watch this, but if you do, I would like to just say that you, you've been a huge inspiration to me. Um, your style, you, you set the bar for, for vlogging standard, for, for what the style is. Your time lapses were, were second to none. They were absolutely amazing. And I mean, showcasing your family life in a way that I don't think others have seen before was absolutely amazing from you going in and showing real reality, showing real life was done in a way that we could relate to. And you were, you're a really good family man. And we could, we all could tell that, that family was, was number one. Family was, was a priority. And it was absolutely amazing to go in and see what your life was like. And for me as a vlogger, as, as starting this journey, as starting this YouTube journey, I've only been doing this journey myself for two months. And I mean, we're working on getting things maybe daily and, and a lot more frequent uploads. But we've just started this journey. So, so real that we're actually vlogging, we're actually doing this. But it, it's sad to see someone, someone go. Now, Casey made it very clear he's not leaving YouTube. He's still going to make videos. But just not daily. I want to just respond and say that... I... Yeah, I, I was very impressed with how you vlogged and, and how his vlogs were laid out. And if you haven't watched them, you, you should go back and watch them. Because they were, they were absolutely amazing. Like, and I mean, I'm still figuring this out. I'm still working. And I work hard to try and produce good stuff. But to see someone leave, you know, the, the vlogging scene, it's, it's a difficult one. But my views are shooting up. My subscribers have gone up, which is exciting. Actually, really exciting, and it makes me want to do more. I, I did shed some tears because you get attached. You, you definitely do. And I mean, I was... I was disappointed to hear the news. And for him right away off the bat to say this is not clickbait, I was like, oh no, it's real. And I haven't... And I mean, there have been times recently in these last past days where there hasn't been that many vlogs. For, for him. And maybe also for me. But for him, there was times where there haven't been that much. And the thing that I would do is is I would I would watch those vlogs before I'd produce my vlogs. And that would be how I kind of get the little little tidbits of inspiration. Those little things that's like, ooh, that, that's really cool. Okay, maybe we can, you know, take that and make it my own. And, and the whole thing is I wanted, you know, I'm not taking Casey's style. I'm taking it and making it my own. And, and you know, teachers tell you this always in school. They always say, when doing research, you take the research, you take, you know, the, the Wikipedia page, that's a bad example, but you take the Wikipedia page and you copy and paste it onto a Word document and you don't just then say it's mine and print it out. That's plagiarism. What you do is you highlight the important things and then you take it and you rewrite it. You rewrite it in your own words. That's what I'm basically doing here. I'm taking a style and taking it, highlighting what I like and making it my own. 
There may be times though where it might seem, oh, there's a little bit of, you know, plagiarism here. I mean, it's not as bad as the university paper where you plagiarize the university paper and get kicked out of the university. I've heard stories, let me tell you. Um, but I want you guys, and, and I want Casey to know that you, you, Casey, nice that you have been a huge inspiration in this journey for me. You were the reason why I started the vlogging journey. Not just to create, not just to show new things and to present new ideas, but to, to start off the, this journey. I can't just sit in a classroom all day at school and do schoolwork. And teachers, you can't expect that from me because I don't want to just sit there and do something that they want me to do this in the curriculum. I want to do something outside, something outside of that box. And, and there was, and I, I had a conductor and he did this thing this thing right here it's called the music box and you expand your box we all have our own box in our lives but I mean we got to expand our box okay we got to expand it make it bigger so let's say in your music box you may have Ariana Grande okay and that's all you listen to you just don't stop but then as soon as you listen to someone different like Flo Rida Okay, these are all just examples that I guess you can maybe relate to. I mean, your box starts expanding and even in choir. You know, in my life I'm used to listening just to, you know, pop top 40s, but in, you know, and then in choir we're singing like songs from all across the world. We're singing spirituals, we're singing God, and then it just starts expanding. And that's what we have to do with our lives. We have to broaden our horizons, open things up. You may just be stuck in our comfort zone, but we have to go out of our comfort zone. We have to go outside and as soon as soon as we go outside of that comfort zone it just expands it expands so big that and Casey you have helped me expand my box I've been afraid of getting out there so many times I've been afraid of getting out to the world and going going out into the world on video on film to you you the viewers I've been afraid of going on YouTube because I've been afraid of backlash and judgment but the thing, Casey, Casey's not afraid for that. He's proven to me that you don't have to be afraid. You can go out there, create something, and you take the criticisms and you use that to make it better. Casey, you have been an inspiration. You know you've, has know that he's been an inspiration. And I wanna give you good luck. Good luck on your future ahead. Good luck on what, whatever whatever you're doing next. All the best. And I wanna thank you. I know there are so many viewers watching this or out of a lot of the viewers that have seen your vlogs. On behalf of me and I'm pretty sure on behalf of them, there, there's so much of a thanks because you have made vlogging, made, made vlogging cool. You made vlogging the thing. You made vlogging it. You made vlogging the thing to do. And without you, I don't think I would have ever gotten on the YouTube scene. I don't think I would have ever started this. And I've gotten, and people look at me still to this day and say, you vlog, you vlog, you vlog. But because I, I don't care about that anymore. Because I know I'm creating something, and sure it's not going to be maybe perfect some days. But creating something is fun. And Casey, you made it cool to create again. You made it cool to vlog. You made it cool to be who you are, to be yourself. And you've taught me that I don't have to change who I am for people to like me. I just have to be myself. And that's really all that matters. Thank you, Casey. And all the best.